heartbreaker for them or a great comeback by Arizona, whatever you prefer. Now they go to play the Titans again. As I said at the top of the show, guys, good Lord. What was that Monday night? 41-7, and that's even with taking off the brakes uh, for Indianapolis. They they put the brakes on, I should say, uh, in that game on Monday night, or it maybe could have been worse than 41-7. Uh, how about the Raiders being a short favorite in Nashville? Tennessee was the number one seed in the AFC last year, and we see our total at 45-and-a-half. There is no official play. Chris Farley, I'm going to come right back to you for a quick thought here. On somebody gets better at the end of this game, the Raiders or the Titans is going to feel good. One of them gets better here coming up. Yeah, uh, this is this is a tough game. Uh, two teams that are tough to trust. You got a home dog and the Titans. You know the Raiders. You would think have a much more prolific offense, but it look. I mean, or at least it should be right. But I mean, twenty points in the first half last week, three in the second half, over two hundred yards in the first half, only a hundred yards in the second half. Devontae Adams only got two receptions for 12 yards. Like, what are we doing, Raiders? Um, Josh McDaniels, uh, you know, just from a from a high level, it just seems like Derek Carr isn't as comfortable in a system. It's a very dink and dunk system. And Derek Carr likes to get in a rhythm, kind of air it out a little bit. So it looks like there's some kinks to work through on that Raiders offense. Uh, and I can't trust the Titans. I mean, there's not much to, to like about the Titans right now. I think that Derrick Henry looks a little off. They're certainly missing A.J. Brown. You know, um, the Burks is, Traylon Burks is going to be a good player, I'm sure. But I don't think we can count on him to take on double coverage, right, and take on that pure number one role as a rookie. It's really tough. So this is a game where I'm just going to sit back and watch. I, I just want nothing to do with this game. Scott Kellen, any thoughts? If no official play here, he mentioned about Derrick Henry. They can't get him going. They had turnovers the other night, especially on punt returns, uh, et cetera. Can they regroup? It's at home in Nashville. And let us not forget, they got into field goal range. Tannehill got them into field goal range against someone's Giants, Chris Farley, and Randy Bullock missed the kick. Or Tennessee would be feeling a little better, at least, at 1-1. One and one. Instead, they're 0-2. But Scott Kellen, any thought, if no official play with the Raiders coming in? I'm glad he missed the kick. I've got both both of these teams under their season win, so I'd love to see a tie. That would be absolutely fantastic. Um you know, for Tennessee, they've lost some talent over the years. Obviously, they lost some receivers. They've lost some offensive linemen. Then last week, uh, the left tackle, who's their best lineman, Taylor Lewan, gets hurt. I don't think he's playing this week. Uh, and that's all starting to show itself. They're only averaging 3.3 yards a rush. And, you know, Vegas hasn't been great. But the one thing they're doing, actually, is stopping the rush this year so far, giving up uh, 3.7 yards a rush. So they're playing that well. I just think this is a, a, a tough situation for Tennessee Vrabel is eight and four against the spread as a home underdog. They've had some pretty significant wins over the years. I think the question here just really becomes, uh, does he have the horses to even do this? But again, it's the Raiders, right? They, you know, they'll, they'll find ways to screw this thing up as well. So um, I show a little bit of value on Vegas here, but I don't really want either team. And like I said, I'll be rooting for a tie and that'll help my season under wins with both teams. So. Oh, you're, you're muted, TJ. That's my bad there, much like the offense of the Titans muted. Uh, <laughs> no official play on Titans or Raiders, but again, somebody, barring the tie that Scott's rooting for, somebody will feel better about themselves coming up on Sunday afternoon. We'll find out about that. 